Hello and welcome, viewers and subscribers of ABG News Policy, the son of Nobe. And I'm here just to touch base uh, on the raging debate on whether or not Zimbabwean elections are going to be held afresh. Uh, this is based on the ongoing uh, debate, especially on social media and mixed messages that are coming from Zimbabwean uh, political players with the opposition still insisting that the static election observation mission report which uh, erupted the Zimbabwean Electoral Commission, uh, the ZEC, for failing to meet uh, some requirements as per the SATAC protocol when democratic elections uh, is concerned. You will know that the opposition is saying that SATAC nullified the Zimbabwean election and they are insisting that uh, uh, the recent SATAC extraordinary meeting that was held in Luanda, Angola, also rubber stamped uh, the so called uh, decision that the elections were null and void. And we've been telling you that uh, this is far from the truth because the actual truth is that Zimbabwe was never put uh, on the agenda other than just noting the such election observation mission report on both Zimbabwe and Swaziland. There was nothing else that was discussed about Zimbabwe, but the opposition is insisting that, yes, indeed, Zimbabwe was discussed and that uh, Nangako is no longer recognized as president of Zimbabwe. And here we talk to a, a ZANU-PF leader uh, who is based in South Africa, that is the ZANU-PF spokesperson who is based in South Africa. His name is Sununguli Walter Mpongolwani, and he speaks uh, about what transpired at the SATAC event. Yeah, we have people who dream day in and day out about some imaginary elections that will be rerun in a country which has just successfully concluded the elections. So these people continue to peg lies about the position of SADC regarding these elections. They purport to say that SADC is not happy, is not endorsing the elections. After a communique uh, from SADC, where the Zimbabwe election was merely noted as something which happened and successively concluded without any other communication regarding the rerun of elections. This must now put paid to the daydreamers' wishes of having another election. But we know they won't stop. They will continue to run lies and say that the Zimbabwe election is still in dispute. There is no dispute, according to Sadiq. So there must be no dispute in these people's heads. Because they created the dispute in their own minds and they ran with it. Now they are caught up with their own lies. So what should then happen now is that they must stop abusing the static platform. They must stop abusing their supporters. They must embrace the outcome of the election and participate in the building of the country. That's Mbongolwani speaking, but he has, of course, stated that he expects the ongoing contradictions to continue because, according to him, Triple C is trying to scam people uh, into parting with their heart and cash by continuing to claim that there is something that is being done by the SATAC behind closed doors and that indeed fresh elections are going to be held and is warning people uh, against being used by uh, opportunistic politicians uh, as they continue to claim that there is going to be a fresh election in the country and that President Emerson Nangakwa is not being recognized by the continental or the regional bodies that is the African Union and the SATIC respectively. So he wants that uh, although uh, it is time for Zimbabweans to move on, there will still be people who will try and manipulate those who are gullible into parting with their hard-earned cash or basing on the hope 
or the false hope that there are going to be fresh elections in the country. Of course, we know the circus won't stop because this is a clearly thought out strategy to scam people, to scam unsuspecting people of their hard earned cash through an elaborate scheme of saying we were robbed, we deserve to be the government. They are not. They must just wake up from the deep slumber and start thinking straight.